Our biggest football video of last year was all about the tush push, and we just saw one take place in college between UConn and Temple, but not the result you'd all assume, and what a wild ending this was. We all know the Philadelphia Eagles excelled on fourth and short, and well, honestly, they used the tush push in almost every scenario, and because of how effective it was, it was often called the Philly Special. However, in this game, it wasn't the outcome you might expect. With fourth and goal for Temple and literally only inches to cross for a touchdown, Temple tried to use the Philly special and just failed miserably. As you can see, UConn returned the ball for a 99-yard touchdown, sealing the victory. It looks like Temple quarterback Forrest Brock failed to corral the ball as it was snapped. The UConn players scooped up the loose ball, turned on the Jets. I had run Forrest run in mind before this play, but I was thinking it would be the Temple QB. Knowing how difficult it is to stop the push push, a fumble recovery return for a touchdown is incredible and something I've never seen before. UConn moved to 3-2 and two with a 29-20 victory over Temple. In what could have been a devastating loss, they flipped the script. And as a fan, I'm happy to see the tush push fail every now and again. Last year, there were talks about the play being banned as it was almost unstoppable. The NFL did end up making some changes. The pushers need to start at least a yard behind the QBs. But do you think plays like this, whether because of potential injuries or the overpowered nature of them, need to be banned? Or do these college coaches even care about potential risk to injury when you get these giant rugby-like scrums? Let us know your thoughts on UConn's dramatic win down below.